Happy solstice. So today is um, June 21st, and I decided I'm gonna head up to Mauna Loa Observatory tonight and watch sunset and um, gaze at some stars. I figured tonight would be a great night to do that since on the summer solstice, as many of you know, that is the farthest north that the sun travels into the northern hemisphere before it starts to go back south for wintertime. So today's the longest day of the year and I'm curious to watch the sunset up on top of Mauna Loa. Not Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa. So um, I've never been up there and I wanna go check it out. And you're gonna come along. All right, so here is some scenery along the way. I stopped at this little road. I have no idea. It's probably just a forest road or a rancher's road, but I thought it was starting to look cool and I'm gonna grab a shower before it gets much colder than it is. I don't know what elevation I'm at, but it's definitely, I need clothes on and I wanna get a hot shower before um, it gets any colder. I can't. You know how it is with me and cold weather. Can't do it. All right. Uh, it's going to be an exciting adventure. All right. Aloha. I'm out. This is the road up to Mauna Loa. I've never been up here before, so this is interesting. Let's see what we see. What do you think, Zeus? Huh? Girl? No comments from the dogs. Alright. A lot of lava. Okay, so I think I'm here. Well, I know I'm here. Because that's the observatory. And there's a gate. So, there's a little public parking area. It looks like there's a cabin trail, summit trail, Mauna Loa cabin. Summit. Six miles. Well, I don't think I need to go that far. <laughs> um, I'll go look at these maps though. Let's see what this map says. Well, from this angle, this is the view of Mauna Kea, which is a really, really beautiful perspective. Uh, you can s just see how how it sits up above the level of the clouds. I'm at 11,000, a little bit above 11,000. I think I'm 11,005 here where I'm at. So it's chilly. And there's nothing up here but lava. So we're going to go for a, a little hike. We got another hour or two before sundown so we're gonna do a short hike and I look super pale in that light all right we're gonna do a hike there's nothing else there's nobody up here I passed five cars on the way up here very um, very different than going up Mauna, Mauna Kea so maybe I'll all right, I feel like I'm back in Colorado. I think I'm up around 11,500 feet. There's the clouds on the other side. Hiking up through this lava field. And what's cool about this compared to hiking in Colorado is that 
I don't have to worry that my dogs are gonna get attacked by a mountain lion as they run ahead. Cause Zeus loves to, he loves to run ahead. So does Athena. Sometimes she'll come back and follow me, but I don't have to worry about mountain lions or bears, anything like that. There's no predators out here, so that's pretty cool. It's cold, it's, it's, it's cool up here. Um, similar to being up on like Pikes Peak. Um, and so there's Mauna Kea. Just gonna hike for a while. There's the observatory. And there's more lava. Everywhere. There's lava. It's so different. Such a cool, such a cool, uh, cool experience compared to the different mountains in Colorado or California or Wisconsin or Tennessee, Pennsylvania. It's different. So This rock, this lava, you can see is really sharp. They call that ah uh ah. -uh. And this is more smooth. That's called ooh. -uh. So I wonder how they came up with those names. No idea. Ah, it's sharp. Ooh, that's nice and smooth. I think that's how it started. All right, if I come across anything other than lava, I'll turn the camera back on. <laughs> but for right now, it's a lot of lava. Pretty amazing. Okay, I'm out. All right, so there's a sign in the lava and it looks like this becomes the trail. So there's just a bunch of Karens along the way. So we're gonna head up that way. And um, so one thing that if you come up here and you're not used to the altitude or you're not used to hiking at altitude, you need to be concerned about um, altitude sickness, um, headaches, um, shortness of breath, dizziness, um, numbness and tingling in your extremities, all those fun things. Also, um, being aware of hypothermia as well, because it does get cold up here. It gets down to freezing at night, and, um, so... Make sure you dress appropriately. Thankfully, in my in my van, oh, I think the trail goes over that way. See all these Karens? Um, thankfully, I have everything I need in my van. My hiking boots, hiking socks, which is the only pair of socks I own. <laughs> um, A hoodie, long sleeve shirt. I don't have my um, thermals, but I don't think I need them this time of the year. Okay, well, this is an interesting trail. So, these Karens are pretty obvious. Zeus, follow the Karens. I don't think he knows what those are. All right, I don't know how much further I'm gonna go on this trail. Oh, look at that. A little bit different color rocks. There you go, Zeus. Zeus, stay on this trail. Let's see how he does. If he gets lost, if he get lost, it's all his fault.
super peaceful up here. There's no noise. The other thing about hiking in Colorado is you have wind going through, you know, the the trees, and um, there's no wind up here right now. It's totally still. It's super super quiet. Like it's so quiet, my ears are ringing super loud. <laughs> so, um, I have the tinnitus in my ears. It's very beautiful though. I'm so glad we have this technology that we can share this from this island in the middle of the Pacific and I can just upload this to the sky and people can watch it on their phones or wherever anywhere in the world. It's absolutely amazing. So if you ever wanted to hike Mauna Loa, today's your lucky day. All right, if there's anything more exciting than these Karens. This is actually a pretty, this, this is a fun hike. This is, this is pretty cool. You don't have to worry about any roots or vines, bugs. There's no bugs up here. Just hiking. All right, I ran out of Karens. But I see some over there. I guess I'll just follow Zeus. And Athena. God of wisdom. Where are we going, girl? Huh? Where are we going? Whoo! So I used to hike Colorado a lot. Lived at 6,600 feet for a while. I lived at 9,200 feet for a while, or 9,600 feet up by Pikes Peak. And what I learned in um, physiology is that it takes six months for your body to build up enough hemoglobin and red blood cells to completely um, be acclimated to altitude. And it only takes I'm remembering off the top of my head, but I believe it's only a few, like, if you got, I think it's less than, it's less than a month. I think it's a few weeks before you, your body dumps, whoo, all that red blood cells and hemoglobin when you return to sea level. And I've been here for almost two years and I need to take a break. It might be because I'm out of shape too. So, but here we are on top of the world. <laughs> they say that Mauna Kea, I think is Mauna Kea, is the highest mountain in the world from the top to the bottom of sea level, including um, Everest. So, Mauna Loa is pretty close to that. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the summit though before. I gotta get back down. So, I didn't bring in any water for these dogs, but it's nice and cool up here. Zeus, what's up ahead? Um, more lava. It just keeps going. <laughs> okay, all right. I think he loves me. <laughs> Zeus. Okay. All right. We're out. And I'm kind of off the path and came across these little lava tubes, but I don't know if it goes anywhere.
It doesn't, but it looks like lava came out of this thing. This is pretty cool. Wow, there's a lava tube in there. Yeah, this looks like lava came up out of the ground here. That's pretty wild. Like this is the bottom of a fissure or something. That's what I'm guessing. So, uh -huh. what? You want to keep going? Should we go back to the car? You thirsty? <laughs> Zeus, what do you have to say? <clears throat> I'm as high as I'm gonna go because it's cold. <laughs> And I'm getting altitude sickness. So, um, a little bit of a headache, kind of dizzy. That might be from the Pacololo I smoked before I left on the trip, uh, on the hike. <clears throat> but either way, I think I'm about 12,000 feet. And um, the summit is 13,678. I'm not gonna get there before sundown. And, I'm gonna hike back down because I'm cold, or I'm gonna hike to a spot because there's a little bit of wind here. And we'll watch the sunset. <clears throat> what you trying to tell me, girl? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Zeus? Zeus, you're pretty chill. All right. It's beautiful though. I love these clouds over here. Here I just set my camera up on a time lapse exposure for um, watching the sunset. I'm sitting on the left side of this. Athena's on my lap. I thought I set the camera up to do time warp and that would compress my hike. Uh, and you could have seen the, kind of the sunset as I was hiking down the mountain. But uh, I only I cut a couple clips out of the video and Put them on here. That's Mauna Kea. By the time I got back to my van, uh, my head was pounding, so I went down to 8,000 feet and stayed the night. It was also extremely cold. The stars were absolutely amazing. You, you really see a lot more stars up at this altitude um, because you, there's so much of the atmosphere is, is gone. So. Um, Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the hike. Look at my other uh, YouTube videos for 